if we look at the diamond industry, um, over the past few years, there's been more and more players into the industry. Even last year, we had three new diamond producers who finished the construction of their mines and are now going through the commissioning and adding more into it. Um, and I think the, the addition of a lot of new players has actually opened up the, the opportunities for other people in the diamond industry. It's, it's creative ways in terms of how we sell. It's the adoption of new technology which you now put into your process. And all of that is really, we're, we're capable of doing that because it's not run by a single way of thinking. But I think we also have to address um, the threats in the market. And it, it becomes a little bit more challenging when you have multiple players in the market because you now have to get everybody into that same, that same mindset. And I think when we do talk about threats to the, the industry, it's not just the, the, the fact that people are not buying as many diamonds, but it's also um, alternatives which people now have. And that's really synthetics, which are, are definitely starting to grow in terms of their popularity amongst consumers. When we look at, um, and especially for, for our mine, so one of the things that characterizes the Karoe mine in Botswana is the very coarse size distribution. And when we talk about coarse, a lot of other producers will think of a large diamond, which is 30 carats. Ours starts at 100, 200 carats. And when we look at the new technology, the, the ability to actually run large volumes of material, and specifically in the larger size fractions, at capacity, which is something which, yes, you could have done it with a DMS, but it's a very costly technology. Um, the implementation of the Tomlin machines at the Karoe mine in Botswana has really led to, I would, it's, it's not just groundbreaking, it's world record breaking achievements, which is what we saw in November 2015. One of the key aspects of mining in general is people generally don't look outside of the industry. And the implementation of XRT technology, specifically for our mine in Botswana, has actually opened up a whole new market. It's a new way of thinking. Us implementing the, the XRT technology, not just for the diamond industry and allowing other people to also utilize this, this, this technology, but it helps people to actually widen their way of thinking. Are there alternative ways of doing things? And the, the innovation which, which Tom already have in looking at how we can actually now use lasers in the same format as a complementary technology to the XRTs, all of that is actually going to start to fill people's minds and it opens up more opportunities for the market to think about.